All right, I'm going to try to go fast here and do uh, 6 through 11. So let's look at number 6, and I'll have all these written down for you. So number 6. Sometimes when they're talking about random numbers, I use X and Y, but when they're talking about something, I might use a letter that helps me remember what they're talking about. So let's see. A bottle filled with water weighs 9.6 kilograms. If the water by itself weighs five times as much as the bottle, what is the weight of the bottle? <coughs> so number six, we're trying to figure out the bottle and the water. So I'm gonna use B and W. Let's see. A bottle filled with water. So that's the bottle and the water together. So bottle plus water, like when you have a thermos that's filled up, you have your weight of your bottle plus the weight of your bottle, water, weighs equals 9.6. So we can start off with the equation, bottle plus water equals 9.6. Okay. Let's read the next part. If the water by itself, so that's W, weighs equals five times as much as the bottle. So five times the bottle. What is the weight of the bottle? So we're trying to figure out what is B. All right, so the bottle plus the water is 9.6, and the water by itself is worth five bottles. So you can plug in. Good luck. Okay, number seven. Let's look at number seven. I'll, I'll write number seven down here. Number seven. Andy's weight is five kilograms less than twice his brother's weight. To, together, they weigh 100 kilograms. What are their weights? Now, normally, yeah, we could use X and Y, but when we're talking about people, I like to use their, like, maybe Andy is A and brother is B. That way I think about who I'm talking about. So we can use any letters, so might as well use some that help us when they give us names for things. So we've got Andy's weight, which we'll call A, is, which is equals, so, so far, so far we have uh, Andy's weight is, so A equals, Andy's weight is 5 kilograms less than something. So we're going to take away 5 from something. It's 5 less than something. What's that, what is that something? 5 less than twice his brother. All right, so we'll call his weather two times his brother's weight. So we have A and B in this one. Andy's weight is five less than twice his brother's. Okay, what else? Together they weigh 100 kilograms. So there's the sum. Andy's plus his brother's equals 100 kilograms. And then the question asks... Uh, how much, what are their weights? So figure out A and B. Number eight. Let's see, number eight. The sum of three numbers is 61. Ooh, like our warm-ups, we're going to have three numbers. So now we're going to call them X, Y, and Z. The first, the second, and the third. So if the sum of three numbers is 84, that means X plus Y plus Z equals 84. All right, we're working with three letters here. Oh, sorry, is 61. I looked at the wrong number after that. Is 61. Okay, the second number, we'll call that Y, first, second, and third. Y is the second number. The second number is equals five times the first. So five times the first number, always X gets the first one. All right, so there we go. While the third number, Z, is equals two less than, so we're going to subtract two from something, the first number. Okay, great. The first number is X. So we have three equations there. Now, for this one, just in case you have any hesitation, over here, we're going to replace y with 5x, and we're going to place, replace z with x minus 2. And then you'll have an equation that looks like x plus 5x plus x minus 2 
equals 61. You should be able to figure out what x is and then use this equation to figure out what y is and then use this equation to figure out what z is. Good luck on that one. Okay, I'm going to erase these because you have them on video. So I'm going to erase these and then uh, you can hit pause. Number nine says the sum of three numbers. Okay, we're doing three numbers again. Number nine. All right, number nine. Okay, number nine. Three numbers, x plus y plus z. The sum of all three numbers is 84. Okay, the sum of three numbers is 84. Great. Now it says the second number, which is y, is equals twice the first. So 2 times x, great, while the, th while, and the third, we'll put this in black, and the third number, z, is, equals, 4 more than, adding 4 to something, the second number. Okay, so that's y. Okay, this one's going to be interesting, because... When I plug in, I'm trying to get down to one letter. So I'm going to take y out and replace it with 2x. So I have x plus, I'm going to do that better. I have x that comes down. I have Marcelo to the office. plus that Elogio comes down. Marcelo to the office. Okay, now we're good. And now for Z, when I bring Z down, this is what probably is weird with this one. When I bring Z down, what is Z? Z is Y plus 4, plus Y plus 4. But we're like, hey, wait a second. I have to try to get all one letter. This is not like I've got X and I've got X and I, now I've got a Y. This isn't going to work. Except we can keep substituting. That's the cool thing about this one. We know what Y is. Look at over here. Y is 2X. So we can substitute one more time and say, oh, we're taking this Y out and going to make this 2X also. So it turns out X plus 2X plus 2X plus 4 equals 84. At that point, you'll be able to figure out what X is because we all got it down to one letter. When you're done figuring out what X is, then you can figure out what Y is with that equation by plugging in what your answer. And then when you figure out what Y is, you can plug in Y over here and add 4 and find out what Z is. Kind of cool, huh? Okay, next problem. I'm going to erase this one. Next problem. Okay, number 10. Number 10. Together, a chair, a table, and a lamp cost $562. Again, when, I, when they tell me titles of what things are, I'm going to use table... Oops, a table plus a chair plus a lamp. So I'm, they're all three, table, chair, and lamp, equals $562. Great. The chair, the chair costs is four times as much as the lamp. So the chair is four lamps. And the table, we'll say the table is T, the table costs is... 23 less than, so we're taking 23 away from something, the chair. All right, so it's the chair minus 23. Okay, this one's going to be tough again. Here we go. Okay, so I know the chair, over here, I can take out the chair, and I can replace this with four uh, lamps. I think that's what it was, right? Lamps? Yeah. Okay. And I can take, a, and I'm going to leave the lamp in by itself. Okay, so the lamp is still going to be plus the lamp. Okay, now the table is, the, is I'm going to plug in chair minus 23 because of over here. Table is chair minus 23 plus four lamps because of there plus L equals 562, except... I should be, at this point, I should be saying, hey, in this equation, we should have all one letter. 
I have L's and I have a C. I have to get rid of this C. Oh, wait, I have an equation to get rid of C. C is 4L. So this C, I'm going to replace one more time. This C over here should be 4L's. 4L's minus 23 plus 4L's plus L equals 562. So that was kind of hard. Now, over here, we, we might have even plugged in right away, like, that chair was, tables were really 4Ls minus 23, if that makes sense, but if it doesn't, no big deal. Okay, so anyway, you've got this big long equation now. You can figure out what Ls equal, because you have 4L minus 23 plus 4L plus 1L equals 562. You should be able to add the Ls together, move 23 to the other side, and once you figure out the Ls, you can plug in, you can multiply by four and find the C's. And once you find the C's, you can subtract 23 and you can find the tables. Good luck with that. Okay, so I'm going to erase for the last one. I don't know why it's not erasing. Okay, erase for the last one. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, number 11. The sum of the angles of any triangle is 180. Now, this really isn't about triangles, but it sort of is. Okay, so I have a triangle for number 11. And we'll have three angles. We have the angle over here that's x, we have this angle that's y, and we have this angle that's z. And if you know anything about the angles of triangles, if you add all the angles of a triangle together, it equals 180. So whatever x and y and z are, they add together to be 180. Okay, find the ang angle measures of the triangle if the second angle, y, measures is, is 10 less than, so I'm gonna take away 10 from something, twice the first, okay, twice the first angle. Two, first angle is x, okay. Twice the first, okay, and the third angle, Z, measures is 25 more than, plus 25, the second angle, Y. All right, cool. And this one, I'm going to, I start off with X plus Y plus Z equals 180. I'm going to take the y out, and I'm going to replace it with 2x minus 10. I'm going to, the x stays in there, over here, x plus 2x minus 10. The z is going to turn into y plus 25 plus y plus 25. But we need to have one letter, so this y needs to keep going and become 2x minus 10 again, because up here y is 2x minus 10. So what does that leave us with? x plus 2x minus 10 plus 2x minus 10 plus 25 equals 180. Holy guacamole, that's long. All right, see from there... You can do the math, combine all the x's, combine the x, the 2x, the 2x, combine the negative 10, the negative 10, and the 25, and see if you can figure out what x is. And then once you figure out what x is, can you plug it in to this one and figure out what y is? And once you figure out what y is, can you plug it in over here and figure out what z is? Good luck with that. I'll be really interested to see if you can figure those out. All right, good luck.